Hello everyone. I'm going to show you very quickly how to take your windmill and assemble it. So right here I have the square pinwheel that I've cut out. The square. I've gone ahead and cut the diagonal lines. We didn't do that last week, but you want to cut every one of those diagonal lines, but only cut down to where the mark stops. Don't go any further. You should also by this time have a pencil. <clears throat> You should have a small bead, a straight pen, and a small round sticker. Now what I want to do first is pick a corner, hold your pinwheel with your thumb in the middle, and if it bunches up the paper just a little bit, that's okay. I've got my finger back behind here, my middle finger, and I've got my thumb up here. These are going to stabilize the pinwheel as I fold it together. So I'm going to pick a corner and I'm going to fold it to the center and put it under my thumb, just like that. I'm going to skip a corner. Then I'm going to fold the next corner, skip, and you will have to move this around a little bit in your hand. So I folded, skipped, folded, skipped. I'm going to fold again and you want to make sure, if you can see this, you want to make sure that your tips are kind of overlapping, overlapping each other. So I'm going to hold and so now I've folded, skipped, folded, skipped, folded, skipped, and now I'm going to make this last fold. And as soon as you make this last fold, you want to go ahead and take this round sticker and put it in the middle and kind of try to make sure that it touches all four edges. It's going to kind of hold everything down together so it's pretty manageable for you to do at this point. So put that round sticker on there and make sure that it touches all the corners. Now it's touched all the corner except for one and that's going to be underneath but that's okay at this point. Next I'm going to take my straight pin and I'm going to stick it through the very middle of the sticker. Make sure that your finger on the back, actually what you should probably do is um, have a partner and one person will hold and the other person will push the pin through. Do not stick yourself in the finger. Do not put your thumb or your finger back here so that when you push that pin through it hits your finger. Your finger needs to be off to the side. Now I have a problem here because one of my edges has not taken. It, the pin didn't catch one of my edges, so I'm simply going to take the pin out and I'm going to fold this edge in a, in a little bit more. And I'm going to use that same hole that I put my pin in before and I'll just go ahead and poke it right through. You're going to have to push a little hard and that's okay. So push that pin all the way through to where that pin head, the flat part on the pin, comes all the way flush up to the sticker. Next you're going to put your pencil um, in one hand and you're going to put the pin in the other hand with the pinwheel and you're simply going to stick that pin right through that eraser. Let me back up. I made a mistake. Don't do that yet. <laughs> Take this bead that you have and put it on the pin first. That way it's going to create a space between the pinwheel and the pencil and your pinwheel is actually going to be able to spin. Now take this pencil, let me get it to where you can see it, and poke that pin through. My pin is a little longer. Yours is not going to be that long, okay? Yours is going to be shorter. So at this point in time, I should be able to blow my pinwheel and it will blow, all right? You want to make sure at this point in time that you have your name on the back of your pinwheel somewhere where it can be identified. When we go outside here in just a few minutes, you're going to hold your pinwheel at the bottom and you're going to stick it in the ground just about an inch. You don't have to stick it down in all the way. You're just going to stick it down about an, uh, an inch or maybe an inch and a half. But you want to hold that pinwheel at the very bottom. If you hold it at the top, one, you might get stuck because the pin might be right here on the eraser. And two, if the ground is very hard, then your pencil might break. We don't have extra pencils, so this is what you get. Take care of this pinwheel because you're going to be able to take this home after we finish with our art installation. All right? 
So there's how you make the pinwheel. By now, you should have your pinwheel ready to go and we will go outside and plant them with all of the other pinwheels to make this a big collaborative school project.